Good morning, everyone. It is, let me see, 6.02 in the morning, and I wanted to do a foundation review and a will it stand the test of time review on the new NARS foundation. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. They just came out with this product a couple weeks ago and it took them a little bit to ship mine, so I am just reviewing it today. So what I wanted to do is put on my foundation this morning and then come back to you guys tonight when I get off work to show you how this held up. It is supposed to be a 16 hour wear foundation, so we will see what happens. I'm going to apply it as they recommend on the box. So what they say is to shake well and and when you shake it, you can hear that the foundation inside is pretty fluid. So you shake well and then you apply one pump of the product into your palms and warm it in your fingers. So once you warm it, then you start patting it into the skin, working in the center and then moving outward in sections. So that's what I'm going to do today. And since I literally have never used this before filming this video, I have a brush handy just in case I want to use it. So it's just one pump, warm it in the hands, press it into the face. And what I have done so far is I have just washed my face, put on moisturizer, and I have prepped it with these two products right here. One is the Professional and the other is the NARS Pro Prime Instant Line and Pore Perfector. One pump, that's all there is, and I'm going to warm that in my hands and start pressing it into the face. It actually feels really smooth and silky on the skin, as it says on the packaging, but to be honest, I used one pump. There's still some product left on my hands that I'm not gonna be able to get into the face, and I need a little bit more. I do like more coverage than some people, so I am going to use a second pump just to make sure I have gotten all of the areas that I want to cover. And this does have a really satiny feel to the skin. It almost feels like there might be some silicones in it that really make it glide onto the skin. So now that that's on, I really want to just, I know I'm breaking the rules here, just take my brush and further press it into the skin. And with the brush, you want to make sure that you are just pressing the product in. You don't want to be swirling and, and moving it all around. So I'm just going to make sure that is all pressed into the skin. I can tell that I still have maybe just a medium amount of coverage and I usually like a little bit more coverage. And I know I could go ahead and get that coverage with concealer, but what I really wanna do is test this foundation out. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna press it on to my cheek area, which is the area that I actually need a little bit more coverage. And I think once I do that, I'm going to be happy with the amount of coverage that I have just from the foundation alone. I used way more than the one pump that they recommended. I used two pumps on the face and then I went back with another like half a pump and applied that just to the areas I wanted a little bit more coverage. So you can definitely layer this. You don't need to follow the packaging where it says just one pump for the whole face unless you want a very kind of light to light medium amount of coverage. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup for this morning and then I will pop back with you before I take off for work and give you an update. Hi guys, I am back. I have my full face of makeup on and it is 7.10 in the morning. So this foundation has been wearing for about an hour so far. And so far I am really loving the finish it gives. I feel like it's a really natural finish. Usually I do like more of a matte full coverage look. So I'm really liking this. I feel like it just looks like your natural skin. It's really satiny and beautiful. But I am really interested to see how it starts wearing. Usually about halfway through the day, maybe mid-afternoon, my foundation starts breaking down. My face just kind of like eats my foundation, I feel like. So I'll be really interested to see what happens as the day goes on. So I am off to work and I will check in with you later this evening. Bye. Hi 
Hi guys! So I am back with my final installment of the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation Review. And as you can see throughout the day, I have definitely have some oily patches that have formed in my T-zone where I am oily anyway. So I have done no touch-ups and it is 6.16 in the evening and I have worn this for 12 hours now. So I definitely have the oily patches in my T-zone where I typically get oily throughout the day anyway and I felt that it was obviously the same with this foundation. Maybe even a little bit more so because the finish is more luminous than the foundations that I typically wear. I also noticed that it did cake up a little bit in just my driest, driest areas of my face which can also typically happen with other foundations just because I am so dry in those areas there's no moisture whatsoever. So I definitely think if you have dry skin or normal skin this foundation would be great. It would wear beautifully for the amount of time they say on the packaging. Definitely in the areas where my skin is more normal I didn't have any areas that you know kind of caked up or came away from the face. So dry skin, normal skin, I think this would perform really well. For me, since I am definitely oily in the T-zone, I did feel that midway throughout the day I would need a touch up just down my nose, a little bit on my forehead and on the tops of my cheeks there where I do get a little bit oilier. However, if you look close up, you see the dewiness, but it doesn't look like the foundation is caking up and slipping around or anything like that. So I did think that the foundation really did perform well. I probably wouldn't choose it if I had to go a full 12 hours looking like I had just applied my foundation. I would choose something else for that, but it applied beautifully. The finish was really nice and it really did last for the majority of the day and probably just one touch up would be needed in between, which I am totally used to doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and please let me know by liking this video or leaving me a comment down below if you liked this type of review where I start off in the morning and then come back and actually tell you how it wore. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!